Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to do a very simple, kind of like an intro video, but I thought this was cool because it could probably help some people out with, um, <clears throat> maybe you want to run some code when you exit out of your program, or someone who's using your program. So let's look at some code here. So I'm going to skip this part, I'm going to jump down here. Um, so I just have a hotkey so that we can see the scripts working. I'm just doing message box, hello world. This this code here would basically be like its normal functionality in your script. Now down here, I'm going to press F2, and we do exit app. So normally what exit app would do is it would just close down your script or your executable if you've compiled it. <clears throat> so up here, we're actually um, basically building up a function call. Um, you do need to have this above your exit app like I would just put this at the beginning of your script so it automatically runs at the beginning of your script and it's already looking for when you do the exit app so it's basically saying on exit so whenever this hits it's gonna be like oh wait I need to go to closing first and you can name this whatever you want this is just the name of your uh, function so you can rename it to on exit close whatever you want um, but we're just gonna say closing so basically before, when I push F2, before it hits this, it's going to do this first. So we're just doing uh, closing or whatever you call it up here to make sure the names match. And you're just going to put in close parentheses, nothing, and then some quotations. Um, I mean, you can just make it look a little lined up. I don't know. I like stuff lined up. It's whatever you guys want. I think this just looks a little better for the video. Um, closing and whatever code you want here. So maybe you want to do some type of file check, some type of I and I write to save data that the user was doing, you know, whatever you want your script to do before it actually closes, some type of check or save, etc. Or, you know, a message box like, are you sure you want to quit? You know, something like that. But we're just going to do message box, goodbye. So pretty straightforward, but you know I can see this being pretty helpful for a lot of people. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, test this out right now. All right, code is running. I'm gonna push F1 to show you that it is. So there's our hello world. So we're good there. But now I'm gonna push F2. And instead of doing exit app, it went to message box goodbye. I'm gonna push okay. And then it's gonna run that exit. And it is indeed closed. I know it's not showing up on my computer, but it is indeed closed. Yeah, so hopefully this can help you guys out with some ideas on, uh, you know, code you want to be running before exit versus having to, you know, code everything into here. Uh, you can have it here in case there's multiple ways. Uh, this will also run instead of F2. If I go to the uh, my menu bar and I right click on my script and say exit, this will run also there. So it's a good way to do it because there are multiple ways to close a script. This is going to cover all of them versus putting the code up here. Because then if they go to the menu bar, right click, exit, this won't trigger. <clears throat> uh, or it code that you, if you put the message box here, it wouldn't have triggered. All right. If you guys have any questions or want to know more, definitely let me know. It's a very simple video, but a very powerful thing that you can use. And definitely hit that subscribe button putting out a few videos every week and I'll see you all on the next one. Oh, by the way, as you might notice, I'm usually on the camera, but I'm having some issues with my drivers on my computer, but I want to make sure I get a video out. So uh, I just kind of went ahead and did it without my beautiful uh, mug on the uh, screen. So yeah, thanks for understanding. I'll see you.